a puppy trapped inside a plastic bin. It was found in a parking lot and rescued by a store worker in North Las Vegas. Kim Passoff joins us now live near Losine and Road to explain what happened. Kim. Yeah, so it was last Wednesday when something unexpected was found inside of a shopping cart, a plastic bin with the lid on it. When someone went to open it, they were surprised to find a live puppy inside. Hi, buddy. Oh, poor thing. He is safe now, free to roam in a foster home, getting lots of love and attention. But this big puppy was found confined in a small box. Hello. Shamar Shapiro was about to leave work when the dog was discovered. I was looking outside the window and I walked outside and I saw all the commotion. I walked over, I was like, oh. There was this plastic black box with the yellow lid, a puppy left inside, its nose poking out of this small hole. Shamar immediately got it out to comfort it and make sure it was okay. Nice, sweet, young puppy. The mixed breed pup is estimated to be about three months old, about 12 pounds when he was first found. He will be a large dog, well over 100 pounds. Shamar's family has taken in all kinds of animals his whole life, so he immediately knew he could help. I realized, yeah, this is what I do. I rescue animals, so I called my mom, and my mom came, and she picked it up, took it to the vet. These are pictures from the vet's office. The next call was to Crazy for Paws, a nonprofit animal rescue in Henderson. Hey, hi. They named him Sammy, got him shots, a microchip, and found him a foster family on a 30-day stray hold before he will be up for adoption, looking for his forever home. Get your toy. Get your toy. Sit your toy. Good boy. And as Fox 5 has reported, many animal shelters in the valley right now are near full. Some have wait lists just to turn over a dog. Shamar thinks whoever left the dog here was desperate, but believed that that dog would be found in this public parking lot. Reporting live in North Las Vegas, Kim Passoff, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. Fox 5 has reached out to police late today to ask about the investigation and who could be responsible for this. We'll bring you updates and any developments.